Praise Yah. Welcome, everyone. You Praise have uh, tuned into CC on air on PQLR1 radio, where Yah is first. If you'd like to call or text us, you can do so. Our number is 704 879 1511. Or you can also email us at PQLR1 radio at gmail.com. And of course, as this podcast goes into YouTube, you can comment on the podcast. We appreciate you listening. And you can also reach us on every social media platform. Just type in PQLR1 radio. If you'd like to listen on your device, we are available on Android. Just tune in to our app, PQLR1 radio. Well, we thank you all for joining us today. As usual, we have a wonderful artist who is a veteran of PQLR1 radio. Welcome, welcome, Sister Yadaya. How are you doing today, sis? Good. I am great. Praise the most high. I'm blessed. Glad to be here. Glad to be alive. <laughs> I am just blessed and thankful this morning. Thank you again for having me, family. Yes. Thank you for coming back. We always appreciate you coming over. Just always let us know um, what snacks you require when you come in. No problem. We'll have it all laid out for you. We thank you so much for coming in today. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. And Yah provides all the snacks, so we are never without. Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you, his table is full. It is great. Thank yes, you. Yes, it is. Yes. So, sis, we uh, came across a new album that you have. First of all, congratulations on that new album. Praise Yah. Always yes. grateful to be able to continue to do this this wonderful work that he has me doing. Mm, 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 mm. And I can tell that you take great joy in doing the work that he's put before you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, no, you are okay, <laughs> sis. I mean, and we, every time you come out with an album, it's just, it's, it's just so powerful and strong. I'm telling you, like, I was listening to it just this morning uh, with, with Sunfree, my granddaughter. And she was like, oh, mm -hmm. oh, what? What, put that on my TV because I <laughs> I cast it from the computer to the TV because we were in my room. And she was like, oh, I need that song. Who is that? Said, That's just you die. She said, oh, we need to call her. Wait, no, we need to meet her. Does she live far away? <laughs> oh. I said we well, will be is willing, it will be so. Yes. Yes, yes. That's her thing. Like she has a thing where she's like, no, okay, I like that song. We need to go find and meet them. <laughs> so I was like, Damn. okay, yeah, it's not far away. It will we'll meet, we'll meet y'all willing <laughs> some yes, yes. Soon. But yeah, so um we know you got what is is there five songs on this album? Yes, it's five songs on this one. Okay, five songs we got. He goes before me, mighty good. Uh, let's see what else we we got. We glory in your name, and I am no in your presence. Is that five? Mm -hmm. And thank you. I thank you. thank you. Yeah, there it is. I think I didn't underline. Problem is okay. I thank you. Yes. So I'm going to start from the bottom of my my comments or my commentary that I wrote for myself. Okay. And, um, this is just me being completely transparent. I'm not a gatekeeper. I, I, I feel like, um, not I feel like, but I know this work is for all of us to be doing. And I think that oftentimes we can find ourselves and other people getting caught up and taken in a different direction, even if we are saying that we're doing the work called by Yah's name. And we can just see uh, people going in different directions. And I say that because there's not a whole lot of collaborative efforts going on in the right direction. Um, mm -hmm. There are still people collaborating in things that are not of Yah, things that are still um, geared toward the world system. And people like to slap a, um, a label on it saying, well, he said go into all the world, but really I can see a great vanity existing because they just want to exist before the world so they can get the world appreciation but that is not what yah has called us to do i'm not singling anyone out or any group or any particular people but i'm saying what i'm saying and i believe that we need to really be fasting and praying concerning what it is that he is calling us to do you know in these these last days there are people that are suffering so instead of us you know 
sitting back and looking at people with blue and green hair and the ratchet and this and that or whatever. Yeah, what is that you would call me to do so these people can be rescued? Um, Because it's not by my own might that these things will be done because these people are technically unreachable. You know, they really are unless Yah's spirit is leading you and showing you and telling you how to reach people. But instead of doing the hard work, we just kind of either start criticizing one another in such a way or we group up in such a way that is not healthy. That's what I feel, that, that it's really not powerful for the kingdom. Now, with that being said, that was just my little rant. With that being <laughs> said, um, when I listened to this album this morning, um, it, it always comes through differently. Like I can listen in the car. It's one thing. Then I can listen in the house on the computer it's another thing if i listen in the phone it's not, like it, it resonates differently depending on where i listen to it right i get that <laughs> so this morning when i was listening to it in my room um you know i was just reminded of the ministry um, to the elders i believe that uh, not so many of us are reaching out to the elders you know when we think about the elders we have to remember that Yes, they are in their last days. I mean, so is everybody, you know, because tomorrow's not promised. But Very we, much true. When mm-hmm. we think about the elders, just think about what they came up in. They came up in what, you know, we call Christianity. They came up in a whole lot of things that, that were lies, you know. Mm-hmm. So there are some on the edge of their seats ready to hear the truth, you know, ready to be free indeed, you know, and... Mm-hmm. I believe that we need to be producing mechanisms to reach them. And when I say that, when I listened to this album, I just heard nursing homes. Like, how can we get this album into nursing homes? Um, Wow. Wow, that's interesting. Yes, there are elderly and disabled people who are lost, bitter and broken. They are left Mm -hmm. alone. Mm -hmm in the nursing home. And a great majority of those people look like us. Yes, definitely. They need to know that they're not forgotten. Yeah. They need to know that they can repent and come to Yah. No matter where they've been in life, what got them to that place, they are still, they still have breath in their body and they can repent. Some don't know that even though they might be 86 years old, they might be 68 years old. They don't know this. And I believe that we, the people that are saying that they are called by Yah's name, need to decide to take this music and take ministry into them so that they will know this. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that is what I heard when I listened to this album today. I was like, wow, this is a very freeing album. And I think that the, the elderly people could really receive from this. Wow. Mm -hmm. I will definitely have to um, lift that up in prayer. Um, With the albums, I just never know what direction the Most High is going to take me in. And when I say that, I'm not talking just just physically, like putting it out there um, on the streaming platforms. I just don't know what else it is he would want me to do with it. So um, I would definitely have to lift that up in prayer because... We're always trying to make sure that we're, I know as um, I don't like to say, I don't consider myself an artist. I just consider myself a girl that loves y'all and is trying to do the best that I can um, to share his light, share his love and put whatever word he's given me out there to the family. And when I say family, I'm not, like you say, we're, it's, it's including the young, it's including the old. And uh, I was asked uh, some years ago, about who my listening audience was. And I said, it's for everybody. Mm-hmm. It, it, and it is for everybody. I'm not gearing it to a particular uh, group of people. Whoever it's for, it's for. If you listen to it and it ministers to your heart, then praise the most high. That can be a young person. Just like you said, um, the baby is even saying, I need that song. So mm-hmm. if it resonates in your spirit and it ministers to you, then praise the most high. It's for everybody. Mm-hmm. Um I don't try to include any particular group and I'm certainly not trying to exclude any particular group. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, um, I definitely will have to lift it up in prayer because uh, 
I definitely would want to get that out there um, to those because that's who it's for. It's for people who are, uh, you know, who feel like they don't have any hope. People who are uh, feeling like they've done so much and that they can't be forgiven. And that is so far from what the father desires. So that's definitely something I'll have to lift up in prayer. Um, And thank you for sharing that, sis. So I'll have to lift that up in prayer. And if it's most high's will, he will guide me and lead me on how to do just that. Uh, to get it out to um, the elderly. And like you say, they are, they're in those nursing homes and they're feeling like they're forgotten about. And sometimes you just need that, um, that thing that's going to give you a little bit of hope. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know that they always get that there. Um, So yeah, yeah, Yeah. I'll definitely have to pray about that. Mm -hmm. Well, I know that that has been my heart for a while. I I really don't even know why, but just the elderly I really, you know, we can look at them honestly. And as um, we get older, they say we, you know, turn back into children. And that that might be true, but there's still a great amount of respect there that, you know, they can have. I'm not going to say should have, but can can have. Um, And part of that respect that I believe that we need to give to them is the opportunity to have what we have at this stage, you know, because we're like children to them, you know, we are Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. and so if the children are able to give them what is new and they can take it and it resonates with them and they're able to repent, well, praise Yah, you know? Hallelujah. Yeah. I mean, it's just so, you know, of course, like, I think oftentimes we... (laughs) We just kind of stereotype people all the time. Like, okay, you had an older person in your life one time. It might have been your grandmother. And your mm-hmm. grandmother wasn't, you know, she, she didn't want to hear nothing that you had to say. Okay, well, that was your grandmother. Um, but that doesn't mean it's going to be every single elderly person, you know. And Yah is the one that gives ears to hear and eyes to see, you know. So mm-hmm. we have to decide that we're going to do whatever it is that he's told us to do because that is obedience you know anything Mm -hmm. else is disobedience but I know for me um my heart is always thinking about the older people the elderly I've seen them in these nursing homes I've seen them be dumped off I've seen them not really have anybody caring about them I mean we always we always hear about these stories of bed sores and all of this but imagine that you don't have anyone checking on you or checking for you and making sure that you're okay that just diminishes your spirit you know Mm -hmm. but what if you you can go into these homes and somehow i don't know provide to them a device that they can listen to the music and the ministry that yah has for them that new word that he has for for them i mean how uplifting would that be it might just Cause them to rise up and walk. You never know. Hallelujah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I, I yeah. was thinking about, you know, I didn't mean to get all heavy about it today, but uh, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's okay. That's, that's where I was today, like this morning when I was listening to this album, because, you know, of course, the music is always such a blessing to me, but that's just what came to me. Um, so, you know, anybody listening, you know, if you have a heart for the elderly, um, just think about that, you know, how can we go into those places and reach them? You know, it doesn't have to be some glorified 501c3 and all that, but how can we reach the elderly, even the ones that are still in their own home? You know, I, I think that that's something that we need to be mindful of. But um, so, sis, tell us what all went into getting this album together because it is so powerful you got five songs here um like what what newness did did y'all bring into your life that allowed such an album um all of them um is based on just reflection uh but this one just came with me just pausing and just like listening i mean i inquired Father, what will you have me to say to your people? What will you have me to say to my brethren? And he just put on my heart that people are tired, that his people are weary. 
yeah. that they're hurting, that mm -hmm. they're hopeless. And whatever he gave me is what I wrote. And whatever he gave me, I just tried to give it back in song. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of like helping me to think about who we are. Like so often we get caught up in our problems or so often we're looking at ourselves as if we're nothing. We're looking at ourselves as if we are truly poor. And I know according to the world, if you don't have riches, you are poor. Mm -hmm. But we have to remember what the scripture says that we are rich uh, mm -hmm. because we have him. We have we have this word that he's given us. And I know that's not the scripture, but I can't recall it right now. My apologies for that. But what I'm saying is um, he just had me to just kind of like pause. Like you were saying, you uh, you wake up and you just take some time to um, lay in your bed without rushing into the day and just yeah. communing with the father. Yeah. Um, that's really what that just that's really what that was um normally my writing process is a little bit different but mm -hmm. this time it's just like he had me <clears throat> excuse me mm -hmm. he just had me to pause and really listen and really consider mm -hmm. and think about everything that we're all going through um and no one is exempt from uh issues i don't care if uh financially right now you're doing okay in other areas you may be weak so mm -hmm. he really just had me to just like really pause and think about all the things that I've been seeing, all the things I've been hearing mm -hmm. and almost like um, just showing me um, we're just very tired, weary, hopeless. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that's, that's what went into it. Just me really just taking some time to just pause and consider it all and listen to what he's saying. And I just really just tried to give that back mm -hmm. uh, uh, through the song. Yeah. And there was this one song that, I was telling my sis, I was like, the first verse sounds like, um, I'm a, it sounds really different than the second verse. Well, that was because when I was doing the song, it was as if I could not contain the words. It was, that was in uh, the song, We Glory. I don't want to, I don't want to fast forward, but just talking about um, what the father had me doing and what I was experiencing with this album on that particular song, it was so, it was like I was saying the words and they were rushing to get out. Like my voice is so strong on that particular song in the first ver uh, verse mm -hmm. because it was just, it was so powerful what I was feeling while I was doing that song. It was like so many different things. Like, I want you to get this word because I want you to understand who you are in him. I want you to understand what you have in him. He is everything. He has provided everything that you need. He is everything that you need. Mm -hmm. So you needn't fret. You needn't worry. You don't need to be concerned about what it is that's going to happen. Right. He has everything under his control. So it was just, it, it was, uh, it was like, I really, it was challenging for me. It was like, I was trying to contain myself, <laughs> but at the same time, I was trying to make sure I got that word out, but it was so, it came out so forceful because it was like so many emotions mm -hmm. uh, at that particular time. And I was like, I, I know pro people probably will listen and say, that doesn't even sound like the same person, but I can assure you it's me. It's just that that first verse it was so much emotion and uh, just thinking about what the father had been saying to me and thinking about, uh, you know, what it is that we're experiencing. Um, it just came out that way. And I was like, father, have your way. And if that's how it sounds, that's how it's going to sound. I didn't try to redo it. I just went ahead and proceeded on to the next verse and said, praise y'all. And that's what I did. But yeah, um, the father just really had me to just pause and consider everything that we're going through and um, lift up prayers for us because we, we all need it. We desperately need it. I don't care how it looks. Mm -hmm. I don't care um, what a person is saying. I don't care if it looks like every day they're looking like they're a-okay. Right. Every one of us still needs prayer. Every one of us is still going through something. Mm -hmm. So Yeah. That's true, sis. And I'll tell you, so what I wrote down for this song, I mean, this is where the whole nursing home home thing started like with this song this is where it started because I was listening and I was like wow um if this song could play in a loud speaker not loudly but just you know how people have 
music in the background playing. Mm -hmm. If it could mm -hmm. just play on continue, how much would it deviate any sort of negativity that came in? You know, yeah. If yeah. I'm if I'm having a situation, if I'm listening to this song because it's playing over and over again, how much of a great reminder would it be that Yah has got me? You know, and I mm -hmm. said here, um, I said this song made me want to just have. Um, somehow play it over and over again for a couple of hours, just as a reminder that the power of Yah um, is so strong. And it says, you know, when daily stresses come, this would be able to capture those um, and just, just, just completely remind me that Yah has it all under control. Hallelujah. Yes, yeah, he so does. What you heard, you know, when you were creating the song, it probably seems a little chaotic because you're like, Oh my goodness, why does it sound like this? You know, but we, as the listeners and the discerners, I don't, I don't think we hear all that. We hear exactly the way that it's supposed to come through. As, as the most high intended. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's very true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're telling me that. And I'm like, I didn't hear that. I, I mm -hmm. heard this <laughs> over here, you know. I don't know, yeah. it's like it, it's one song, but it's speaking many languages. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. <laughs> I've said that myself before. Like, yeah. I don't hear that. This is what I heard. So right. Uh, right. when we're doing the music, that is very true. It's because we're trying to capture what it is that the father is saying to us at that time. So we hear things differently. And like you said, on the receiving end, you as a listener, you hear something else. Mm -hmm. And I attribute that uh, to the father because whatever and you may have someone else that hears something completely different than the both of us yeah. but whatever it is that the father needs for that person to hear mm -hmm. is what they will hear so praise the most high for that and thank you for sharing because yeah um I did I was a little concerned about that but like I said I just left it up to the father because I said you know that is your spirit moving in me and doing whatever it's gonna do and I will in no way try to restrain it uh just so it can sound uh, perfect uh, according right. to the world. So I was like, it's going to sound how it sounds because that's how the father gave it to me. So that's how it shall go. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm telling you, sis, I'm just like, I, I'm, I'm feeling like, um, I don't even know what the emotion is right now because it, it just sounds like so much thought went into getting it out the way that, you know, Yah wanted it to get out versus you toiling with yourself. Yeah. And that's a yeah. lot. But but over here, I don't hear that. I heard a perfect work. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, all that. that went into that. Song. Okay. Whoa. You know, and I'm just yeah. so thankful. That is beautiful. Wow. Okay. Well, you know, I'm going to have to listen to it again. When we get off. <laughs> but, um, so the next song I have here, now we can go backwards. We can, we can go back. Let's go back. I'm probably yelling in my microphone. Let me stop. Okay. No, you're good. <laughs> okay. Um, so he goes before me. That was the first song that I have. And it's, it's um, just a reminder to me um, that we trust in Yah. You know, he goes yes. before me. He, and, you know, like I was telling you before, um, I did just a, a reset. Um, last night before I woke up this morning and I said, you know mm -hmm. what, tomorrow I'm just going to go out and I'm going to know that the father has his hand on my life just completely. And anytime anything comes, um, I'm going to remind myself of that. And that's what he goes before me says, because um, you know that Satan comes, What do I, I think I, I put it in the phone here in Daniel 7 25 and he shall wear out the saints of the most high mm -hmm, he comes mm -hmm. to wear us out like you were talking about you can see that people are weary and they're tired and that's what he does he comes to wear yes. us but if we know like this song says that he goes before me that means he knew everything that was going to happen before and after whatever situation we're in you know mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. we have to completely just trust in him because the process is something that he is allowing, but it's all going to be for his glory, no matter what. Absolutely. Happens. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a saying, um, and I don't like to use sayings too much, but when it applies, I'll go ahead on and use it, especially if it's a worldly saying or something that I've heard uh, in the other uh, realm of, you know, Christianity. Yeah. Um, where it, you know, where it said, um, uh, the Most High already knew. Nothing is a surprise to the Most High because He already knew those mm-hmm. things that you would go through. So that's a good reminder too. Like nothing is a surprise to Him that everything that you encounter in your life, He's already made provision for. Like you've ministered to me before, um, He's already provided. Mm-hmm. So everything that we go through, even the challenges, even the obstacles, even the mountains uh, that we in, that we you know endure. Uh, he already knows that we're going to encounter those things. And he has provided, just like scripture says, he has provided a way of escape for every temptation. Yeah. Everything that we are get, everything that we are going through mm-hmm. is a temptation to cause us um, to try to cause us to veer off the righteous path, to cause us to try to stop trusting in him, to cause us to renounce our faith in him. But with those temptations, he makes a way of escape. But we have to trust him. We have to trust his word. We have to trust that, as you have said to me before, sis, he's already provided. And if he's already provided, we don't need to worry. We don't need to be fearful. We don't need to try and figure it out on our own. It's so many things that we do and we're doing the most. And none of it is our business. We need to leave everything to the father and allow him to be just that to us. Like we... um. We also say in this world, oh, we, uh, you know, they won't let me be great. Well, guess what? We're not letting the father be great because we're not allowing him to be all that he is to us. He mm-hmm. wants to be our everything and we're not allowing him to do so because we're trying to take the reins when he's saying, my child, rest in me. Mm-hmm. And that's on my spirit a lot, um, you know, this season uh, to just rest in him. Mm-hmm. And as I minister to you all, uh, the father is also ministering that same word to me. It's mm-hmm. not like I'm sitting here um, saying, you need to do this, you need to do that. Mm-hmm. When, when I'm saying these things, I'm also ministering that word to myself. Uh, the father is saying the same thing to me, but that's what's been on my heart um, this season to just rest in him. Yeah. That's what he wants us to do, to just rest in him. So mm-hmm. yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely, um, just learning to do that uh, Mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Guess what? We, you know, (laughs) I keep saying this and it's so true. Mm -hmm. I'll use the example of, um, like, I'll use me for an example. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I've been somebody's parent for a very long time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So parenting is second nature. Now, it might not be the best nature of all all the time, but, you know, I know how to do that. You you put a child in front of me, I can pretty much stare him or her up and down and get them what they need. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to marriage, my husband and me have only been married three years now. Okay. So that is a work that is going to take some perfecting, if you will. Uh Now, our perfection is in the father, of course, whether it be parenting or marriage or whatever. But it's like a muscle. You have to exercise it. You have to work it in order for it to start working out, you know. Mm -hmm. And we have to be willing to do that. We have to be willing to allow the father to work on us. And it doesn't just happen with you just laying stagnant and doing nothing. Absolutely. We have to seek him. We have to know him. We have to Mm -hmm. have relationship with him. And we have to allow him to do what he's going to do. I mean, he's going to do it anyway, but Mm -hmm. um, we have to get out of our own way. Now we have exercised anxiety for decades. We have exercised all the wrong things for a very long time. So when it comes time to resting in him, it was like, uh, okay, I'll rest, but I'm gonna keep one eye open. No, Mm -hmm. close your eyes shallow your breathing or whatever and rest in him because mm-hmm. he got it under control so we yeah. have to do that's what we have to do but you know because we're so used to taking the reins and trying to be in control we 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 have this you know we tend to, to humanize yeah like okay well maybe we do I trust him right here but 
I don't know about that. Yeah, you probably don't know how to do that part, you know, and it's like, oh, my goodness, you know, yeah, help me with my unbelief. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whatever door that remains closed is an area of your life where you have not allowed him in. Mm-hmm. And wherever you have not allowed him in, you won't be delivered from that thing that that continues to um, consume you, that continues to keep you in whatever state that you're in that is not righteous. Right. So I say we need to fling those doors open and allow the Father to invade our lives and light it up wherever it's dark. Yeah. Because we still have so many areas that we just haven't allowed him in. Yeah. And in order for us to really find that rest in him, we have to be able to say, come on in, Father, and just clean me up. Right. Come in and make me whole. Come mm-hmm. in and heal me and deliver me from the things that continue to keep me from you, to keep me from trusting you. That's mm-hmm. what we need to do. And again, I'm preaching to myself here. Oh. Um, but yeah, I completely agree with you with what you just said, sis. Well, yeah. You're preaching to me too, because I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> she over here. <laughs> <laughs> yes that's it though you know and that's another thing that we do we tend to take offense and then we cover up and then we go into hiding and it's like uh-uh, mm-hmm. uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. nope I have pulled the covers off yes and you are you are you are in the light now you said you wanted to be the light and you wanted me to be the light and all that but the minute I pull the covers off your head then you try to go into a cave again mm-hmm. no mm-hmm. you ask me for these things and I am providing but it's not cute and bubbly like you want it no sometimes it's ugly and, mm-hmm, definitely. and that's the way it is and you know we have to be mature like we 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 really we talk about being elders and we want to be mature we want to be respected and all these different things but um to whom much is given much is required you know yes. and that's yes. what we have to remember like uh, so much we want to say that we don't want to be I don't know. I'll just say worldly, but we are trying to be worldly. If we do not want to do things the way by way of the father's way, Mm -hmm, you know, we mm -hmm. we desire worldliness. We, we want the recognition really in a worldly way because his recognition recognition is completely different than the world's recognition. His ways are not our ways. And I'm so thankful of that. Um, you know, you just sit back and, uh you could just look at the vanity of it all just honestly i mean like you say you're talking to yourself i'm talking to myself right now okay like (laughs) i have to look at my my ulterior motives and things and then when you really recognize your ulterior motives you know when you're in yeah it'll cause you to be disgusted like oh my goodness like how Mm -hmm. am i talking about anybody look absolutely yeah look at this on my face right here look at this you know it's and, something I've always said. You got to be willing to put that mirror on yourself. Yeah. And if you're not willing to put that mirror on yourself, are you really ready to be healed and mm-hmm. cleansed? It's so easy for us to point the finger at others and to look at other people. But mm-hmm. when you're looking at yourself, right, then you, you're, you're coming to a place of growth. You're coming to a place of wisdom. Right. We all know that the only way we can be cleansed up by the Father is if we're willing to accept the ugliness of our heart. If yeah. we're willing to accept the ugliness about ourselves, mm-hmm. you got to be willing to put that 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 um, mirror on yourself and say, hey, look, I'm the problem. It's me. Father, yeah. clean me up, because right. if not, I don't see you growing in y'all at all. You got right. to be willing to humble yourself and accept that you just aren't as good as you think you are Ooh. and allow him to cleanse you. Mm. That yeah. is so true. And again, you know, I don't know where we have come into this thing where there's some sort of hierarchy of greatness in people. Like, like you said, we all need prayer. You know, we all, mm-hmm, need mm-hmm. To, we all have areas and it doesn't help today that um, we can look at people on social media and think, oh my goodness, they have it all together, you know, and we know that these things are fake and facades and, you know, people mm-hmm. can make things look a certain way. But we still, down within us, we want to strive toward that sort of perfection. And that perfection has nothing to do with the Father. His perfection is inward. It's not that outward thing. The outward is is secondary. The inward Mm -hmm. is where everything great is going to come from. So when we trust him him to clean us up on the inside, 
then that outside will be the light that he wants it to be. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we Hallelujah. Gotta stop looking mm-hmm. at social media so mm-hmm. hard. Mm-hmm. I mean, so, you know, um, I look at it this way concerning social media. You know, the Bible says evil communications corrupt good manners, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of times we are really in communication with social media a lot. And so what is it a doing? It's corrupting us. Yeah. You know, from the direction that he is calling us to be in. It's corrupting us, you know. Yeah. Um, because when we look at everything around us, um, just the things that we've been conditioned to just still really resonate with us. We can say, oh, I don't want any parts of this world, yet, you know, we're still striving mm-hmm. toward things that the world would tell us are okay, you know? Mm-hmm. And I just pray, like, whenever my mind goes in those directions, yeah, send a word to snatch me out or remind me, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. remind, like, remind me however you need to remind me that it's your way or the highway, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Because we can get caught up very quickly. Very quickly. Yes. Yeah, very quickly. Mm-hmm. You know, and so, like I said, I, I, I was driving yesterday and, you know, y'all used the word of a, a, a person that, you know, they're just doing their little thing, what they do. But it just gripped me so much yesterday that I was like, oh, y'all, you really can use anybody, especially for mm-hmm. you people, you know. Um, That's what I was just thinking too. <laughs> yeah, you, you can use anybody. And, you know, it takes for us to, I, I don't want to even talk about this judgment thing, but just open, you know, open to what Yah is telling us by however it is that he's telling us, you know? And mm-hmm. if I would have just turned it off because these people, they like to reflect on this and that or whatever, which is not what I believe. If I would have turned it off, would I have heard what he was telling me in that moment on my drive in the, the beautiful sunshine, you know, mm-hmm, he used mm-hmm. these other things to open me up to what it is that he was telling me, you know, it's mm-hmm. just not one D it's, it's 10 D, you know, he's using all yes. <laughs> to open me up to say, Hey, look, girl, <laughs> this mm-hmm. is what I'm telling you. Not trying to tell you, this is what I'm telling you. Are you listening? And I heard him loud and clear yesterday. I was like, wow. And it makes me so thankful that he took the time out in this time to talk with me about this thing that is going to change my life. Because today I'm reflecting on things a whole lot different than what I was, you mm-hmm, know, mm-hmm. and it's going to resonate in this podcast or in my house or when I go out of here today or any phone call I make because it reminds me of who he is. Forget who I am and what I'm trying to do, but it reminds me of who he is, you know? So, I mean, it's just, Yah is just so powerful. And again, we humanize him uh, and and we don't need to do that. We don't, you know, he is not on our level. And definitely, definitely not. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't even want to use that unfortunately, but sadly, (laughs) sadly, we, we just really, we, that's something we need to put 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 a tab in like remember when you when you're focused on even thoughts of yah his ways are not our ways because he's he's above us you know Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh yeah well i just went off on a tangent again i'm telling you (laughs) between this album and yesterday's reflection in the sunshine and driving it's been a time sis and i'm i'm just thankful for it you know, oh, get that sunshine and yeah. that ride with the most high get yes. you every time. Yes. yes. <laughs> if you're and, willing. <laughs> and he provides even the right music, you know, because I'll have my yeah. my go to stuff, you know, and then he'll shift me. He'll shift right. me over sometimes. And it's like, wow. You know, and it almost mm-hmm. becomes like, you know how people are nostalgic about n- nostalgic about things. I'll be nostalgic about some music he shared with me when I passed this tree before, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I remember wow, oh, I heard that song yeah. when I was going down this road. And that's mm-hmm. exactly how it was like just I'll just say yesterday. But you know, Yah is Yah is great. He's he's been one yeah. in my yeah. life and I'm just so thankful, you know. Again, now back to the music. So um <laughs> let's see here. Um we talked about oh, I'm trying to, I don't know about, oh Mighty Good. That's the next song I have here. 
Mighty Good. We didn't talk about mm-hmm. that. Okay. So Mighty Good um, reminded me of how important it is to just be thankful. Thankful yes. of what has, what has already been done for you, especially in times of yes. trouble. Like, you got to be mindful and thankful of what he's already brought you through. You know, mm-hmm. mindful and thankful that you have breath in your body to even think on these things. Mm-hmm. 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 That's that's actually um, what what was uh, what was happening with that song, where it was just a moment of reflection, time mm-hmm. of reflection, mm-hmm. uh, thinking about my life, and also, like I say, with this album, he also had me to really just focus in on his people. And just like saying, okay, you're going through this, but remember all of the times where he has been good, even consider right now you're going, it's like, I don't think that we're, when we're going through things that are hard, Mm -hmm. I don't think that we think about, but wait, he's even sustaining me even right now. Cause how do I have the strength? Cause I went through a time some years ago where I couldn't get out of my bed. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it hurt me to even just, uh, it hurt me that I couldn't even get on my knees and pray to the father. I couldn't get on my knees and give him thanks in the morning. Um, that's where um, one of my other songs, I will praise your name. I, I said something relative to that, but I'm like, the listeners wouldn't know, but I'm saying it right now. But it's like you, when you think about uh, things that you're going through, we don't always think about, but wait a minute. I know I'm going through a hard time right now, but he's sustaining me even right now. Mm -hmm. He's loving on me even right now. Like we don't see that because all we see is what we're going through, but we don't even see that while we're going through that he's still sustaining us. He's still keeping us. Mm -hmm. You woke up this morning. Praise the most high for that. Mm -hmm. Um, You have shelter. It may not be the shelter that you want, but praise the most high for that. Like that, that song was just a reflection of saying, okay, family, we're going through all of these different things, but look, the most high woke you up this morning. Look, he gave you the strength to go in on that job. That's challenging. Look, he's giving you the strength to endure whatever it is that you're having to endure. Mm -hmm. I mean, so it was just like saying, okay, look at what he has done. But mm-hmm. also look at what he's doing. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Yes. That that's true. And we have to remind ourselves, you know, mm-hmm. that he's never failed you ever. Yeah. You might yeah. have failed yourself, but he's never failed you. And the mm-hmm. proof of him never failing you is the fact that you have your faculties about you right now mm-hmm. think mm-hmm. on these things, you know? Yes. Yes, that is a beautiful, beautiful song. Um, And then the next one is I Thank You. And I said it's a reminder of how um, we are to enter prayer, you know, you know, enter, enter into prayer with Thanksgiving. You know, Mm -hmm. that's Mm -hmm. what we have to do because immediately, oh, yeah, don't you see that the house is on fire and this is happening? And, you know, we immediately want to remind him of the things that are of concern. Um, instead of going into thankfulness, which is not reflecting on the last song, Mighty Good. You know, we have to be thankfulness. We have to keep thankfulness at the forefront of our heart when we are going to approach the Father, you know, and just continue to be thankful because, like you said, you got a roof over your head. It might not be the best roof, the, the roof that you want, but you still have a roof over your head, you mm-hmm. know. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so I thank you just made made me think of of that just entering in with thankfulness right and that was um that took me to a different place because it started making me think about where would I be without you Mm. like father like look at where I am now and I can I can tell a whole story about all the things that the father has done for me Mm -hmm. um you know, uh, for some years, um, like he's just been showing me more and more of his character, more and more of his goodness. But you think that you've had it hard, but then you have to consider, wow, this is what me being with the father. Mm. What were, where would I be without the father? Mm. Where would, and like you say, we don't even consider the fact that, like you say, we have our faculties. There are some people who are 30 mm-hmm. years old, 40 years old. Mm-hmm. You don't have to, you don't have to be 70, 80 years old to mm-hmm. not have your mind right. There are people mm-hmm. out there who 
their minds are just gone 30 40 50 years old it doesn't matter so what i'm saying is we have to really consider all that he has done for us and all that he that that he continues to do for us and then if you really if you really um have the courage Think about where your life would be without the father. What mm. would your life be like without his protection? What you, would you even still be here? Mm. So, um, yeah, that song was just a reflection of, oh my, you don't want to think about it. Like it, for me, it was like, I don't want to go there, but mm -hmm. I had to be honest about it. I'm like, father, I probably wouldn't even be here if you were, if you, if I didn't have your protection, if I didn't have your peace. Mm -hmm. I, This, this definitely has to go on there because we need to know that during these tough times, it is hard. We have to have a heart of thanks and really consider like where our life would be without the father. And you don't want to do that. But if you're if you're being honest, he is the one who continues to sustain us. It's not anything that we did. He is the one that continues to sustain us. Um, so, yes, like you said, sis, enter in your prayer with thanks and with praise. Mm. and acknowledge that you wouldn't be here without him so yeah yes, yes and that is so very true i'm telling you like as i read down further um with my notes it says um you know because i'm just on what happened yesterday mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. yesterday i decided <laughs> to retrain my brain and I, i'm telling you it was it's been such a refreshing thing um, yes it is retrain, retrain my spirit in what I'm going to accept today, you know, just, and it, it's not any, it's the thoughts that enter into my head. Nobody has mm -hmm. done anything or anything. Mm -hmm. It's the mm -hmm. thoughts that want to enter into my head concerning just life. Okay. Yeah. Um, just life. Yeah. Yeah. So it says just yesterday, I decided to retrain my brain. And it's so funny how Satan comes to steal and remind or remind and steal because the, mm -hmm. the, the mm -hmm. word says that he immediately comes to choke the word. Mm -hmm, um, definitely. But if you start the day with thankfulness. It is impossible for this to happen with with without faith. It is impossible to please God. So mm -hmm. if you start that day with thankfulness and you continue on with that thankfulness, Satan can't come take nothing. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Nothing. Like there's no like he comes to steal off your tray. Ain't nothing there. You already done what you needed to do to make sure mm -hmm. that you mm -hmm. are full and you are, you are fulfilled in Yah, you know, just cause that, yes. is, no matter what comes. Oh, thank you. Oh, that, you know, like I, I'll talk about something minor outside. Like, I don't know what it is this year, but um, see, I thought I was going to be doing this heavy gardening and I was probably going to be having this astronomical YouTube channel. Maybe y'all didn't want me to have a YouTube channel about gardening because I don't know, maybe he didn't, but you know, the most <laughs> fine thing <laughs> is yeah. we have so many mosquitoes. And mm -hmm. I'm telling you, like the minute you go outside, now I have a few plants out there, but I have to go with full body armor on and I'm not mm -hmm. joking. There's so mm -hmm. many mosquitoes, but I take that as a sign of something. That that yeah, I was like, no, I, I I don't want you to do that this year, and I'm like, okay, that's fine, you know. Maybe it would have taken away from something else that he would have me to be doing. I don't know, but I'm still thankful in it. I'm thankful in all things. I give thanks, you know. I'm not going out there doing what I thought I was gonna do, but his ways mm -hmm. are greater than mine. And well, I mean, like yeah, I said, it yeah. sounds like a minor thing, but it's not because I'm listening now. I could go out here in a full-on mosquito outfit and still be trying to garden, but obviously, no, that's not what it is. He wants me to pay attention to these few plants that I have, and mm -hmm. I've even learned a few things in the little plants that I do have. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's like deviating, but still, like <laughs> um, I have <laughs> this little area in the back. I call it the plant hospital, where plants go if they're like about to die. But it's mm -hmm. amazing. I put them in the plant hospital and they pretty much all live after I get them. Hallelujah. Over. Yeah. Hallelujah. You've taken care of them and nursed them back to health. Yeah, I can definitely relate to that. Um, yeah. It's crazy, though, because, you know, well, what he showed me was, OK, so here you are hovering over these plants, you know, like one one plant, a coleus. I spent like 
20 no $16 on that plant that's a lot because hey I'm buying my plants from Walmart in a clearance where they're knocking on death's door and I'm going to bring these plants back to life so I got this coleus and it's beautiful and I got these other plants and they're great and I'm watering them and then mosquito season started so now I really can't water anything and I'm not even really happy about going out there and then some of the plants are dying but I created this plant hospital and I'm telling you, there's like a lot of little plants over there, but they are thriving. <laughs> okay. And yeah. so what he showed me was like, uh, don't I care about the birds and they don't need to worry about what they eat. You know, that scripture, mm-hmm, like, you mm-hmm. know, I was like, yeah, that's true. So I put these plants over there. All I do is keep watering them. I'm not hovering over them. Like these ones on my, my porch, I'm hovering over them. I'm like looking for the bugs and I, li- uh-huh. literally I am, I'm acting like I'm the, the, the plant keeper, like trying to do uh-huh. all this thing. But the, <laughs> in the plant hospital, they got the perfect amount of shade and sunlight. And all I do is water them. They over there looking lovely. Mm-hmm. It, is, mm-hmm. it is so telling though, because he can speak to you through anything. If you're listening, he's speaking, but are you listening? I'm telling you, I'm listening because definitely yeah the whole mosquito thing i mean i got discouraged about that but i'm like okay he just wanted me to pay attention to these few plants he wants yeah. to you know get ready with these few plants he don't want me having some because i thought i was going to do the whole yard you know you see these people again on youtube with this whole yard full of garden i thought i was mm-hmm. gonna be doing that nope not the, the he sent the mosquito he allowed those mosquitoes so I can't mm-hmm. be doing all that. And again, it's about listening. You know, I'm not bucking against yeah. that. If it were something else for, for me to be doing, even though there was mosquitoes, he would let me know. But nope. He said, pay attention to these group of plants right here on this porch. Look at your little plants over in the plant hospital. And you need to listen to me, what I'm telling you, what you should be doing. And I'm like, okay, so I'll be ready for next time. Yeah, I used to do a segment um, called In the Garden because every time I went out in the garden, I was always learning something. And it's like that every year for me. Um, And this year was no different. Um, For me, the message from the garden was a um, uh, very, very loud prepare for the harvest. Mm. Um, And it was like, wow. Um, I had more, more more produce than I could even ask or think I didn't see it coming and when I tell you I have been uh that's why I haven't been as active as I would be on social media but when I tell you that I have just been like uh harvesting Mm -hmm. and after the harvest um uh then having to um it's a word that I'm looking for I can't think of it right now but you go and you harvest the food and then after you harvest the food then you have to come in and process the food and once you finish processing the food then I have to inventory the food so it's been very time consuming um and if you're not prepared for that type of uh, if you're not prepared for the harvest, it can actually seem like it's a burden. The yeah. blessing can then seem like it's a burden. And in no ways did I feel like, oh, I wish I wouldn't have done this. I'm always thankful for it. But to me, it was just, I felt like the father was saying, prepare for the harvest. And wow. before the harvest came, there were other messages um, from the garden. But yes, the father is always speaking to us. Yeah. And I have learned much in the garden. Mm. Um but yeah, he speaks to us in it's like what you say, are you listening? Yeah. He doesn't always speak. Um, some people he may not even speak audibly to. He may show you through different ways. Right. Um, and for me, it's uh, I've learned that it's multiple ways yep. and uh, we always have to be attentive and I'm always looking for him to hear his voice. Mm-hmm. And yeah, if, if you're being attentive, you will definitely see the father um, speaking. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I can relate to that, sis. Yeah, but that was my message this year. Prepare for the harvest. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. As I listen to your message, the old me would be like, well, why does she get to have such a harvest, you know? Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. that's definitely not the message for me because he knows us. He knitted us together. Yeah, yeah. He knows how much, you know, we would not do what we should do with mm-hmm. give us or what, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, mm-hmm. I'm okay with that because I know what I know and I don't even know how to explain it, but I'm comfortable, you know, 
the 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 one that doesn't trust is the one that's uncomfortable you know you have right to trust because if it was going to be right he would provide it to you you know absolutely and that's what i'm learning too um well he's been teaching me this for some years but i'm just learning more and more to just it's, it's about accepting his will, because like mm -hmm. you say, you'll look at someone else and you're saying, well, you know, it's kind of like, well, father, I'm gardening too. Like, why don't mm -hmm. I get that? Mm -hmm. And the reality of it is, is, um, baby, you're probably just not ready for that. Exactly. Or, um, I need you to, I need you to work over here a little bit more because honestly speaking, I started an herb garden this year and I've always done herbs, but I really went out of the way. And again, the herbs took off and I was like, I don't have time to process all of these herbs. So Ooh. what I'm saying is it was like the things that were planted, they came and they came in abundance mm -hmm. in, in abundance. And now it's like, okay, now what are you going to do about it? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, <laughs> you have to consider what it is you're asking for. Mm -hmm. And are you prepared for what it is that you're asking for? Sure. Um, yeah. He definitely, he definitely, uh, I mean, I can't even, I was very surprised at how everything, and he's been blessing us in that way for, for many years. And I'm so thankful for that with the garden. Um, mm -hmm. But this year it was just really different mm -hmm. and it is every year, but this year it was just really different. And it really made me think about what it is that I'm doing. Like, Mm -hmm. not making sure that I'm spreading myself thin because again, it's just me. It's just me doing this, uh, in my hubs. Mm -hmm. Um, so I don't have the manpower to do all that he blessed us with. So it's just making me think, okay, maybe you need to consider a different way, or is this something that you should be doing? Uh, so yeah, I, I'm learning that whatever he has for me, that's what I want. I don't want anything outside of that. And it's not that I was trying to be like anybody, but you know, a lot of times you're trying to do a lot of different things. Yeah. Um, and the father just may want you to just, you know, be in that one place and you're here, there, everywhere. And he may just want you to be in that one place for a season or maybe a few seasons um, to get whatever it is that he needs you to get. So mm -hmm. when the time is right, you'll be prepared to do all of those things that was on your heart to do. Cause it's not that what I was doing was uh, what I was trying to accomplish was wrong. It's right. just that it might not have been the time to do it. So I don't look at somebody else and say, I want that any longer. Like right. he's been working on, he's been working on me um, with this for some years. Mm -hmm. I only want what he has for me and for my family. Mm -hmm. Like that's what I want. I don't want anything outside of that. And when you start desiring what other people have, then you have to ask yourself, well, are you prepared for that? Mm -hmm. Are you able to do that? Are you, you know, you have to ask yourself those questions and be honest. Like you may want all of those different things, but right now may not be the time. So just take that time to let the father uh, grow you. Yep. And when it's his time, he will make it so. Mm -hmm. And what I like to say to myself, because I always put it back on me, <clears throat> mm -hmm. um how faithful are you in what he's already given given you yes you know yes. and it's like oftentimes i can be like oh goodness um oops <laughs> right <laughs> like, like the oops moment yes i get that like, yes. uh, uh, wait a minute now hold on i got a whole full of uh, things that are undone over here and uh -huh. i know i could be doing better so how dare i um throw a, a, a veruca salt moment because i'm telling mm -hmm. you I, i've like everybody hears me every week. I'm talking about Veruca salt from the Willy Wonka thing. Cause <laughs> that is me sometimes like in my heart, like Veruca salt. Like I am like a, I don't know what spoiled me, honestly. Like, cause it's like, why do I feel like that? Like I should be entitled to this. Mm -hmm. That sense of entitlement. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, you can't mm -hmm. even vacuum the floor today. You can go <laughs> vacuum the floor today and be quiet, you know? So yeah. like that, that's where I am with myself and I love it, you know, because the old me would be less accountable where this, mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. disgusted. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like a thought will come in my head. I'm like, mm, how dare you, you know, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know, you just admit you don't get into self degradation. You just give it back to the father, but I'm, right. I, I'm enjoying it because 
that's a part of maturing when you can yes it is yourself and be like wow um yeah you 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 need to stop you know Mm -hmm, (laughs) mm -hmm. you tell the kids you need to stop you know I Mm -hmm. I will tell myself that and it's like sometimes you got to take a little moment to yourself and tell yourself self you need to stop you know oh absolutely tell yourself go on over there and sat down because you're doing too much right now so yes definitely Mm -hmm. sis that is definitely a part of maturing and growing but that's a good thing because Mm -hmm. You know, that's when you're uh, the father is cleaning your uh, cleaning you up and yes. helping you to be better, helping you to rise up in righteousness. Um, and if we can't hold ourselves accountable, then who's going to do that? Mm. You know, you we have to be responsible for holding ourselves accountable mm-hmm. and um, trying to, you know, uh, be righteous and allow the father to do what he's going to do. A lot of times he's trying to get our attention to clean us up or to get us to consider some things like. Well, are, make it make sense. Are what you is what you doing making sense right now? Uh, a lot of things we've done, and we we've, we've just done them so repetitively in our lives. We've done them so much, but it's not making sense, and we don't know it's not making sense because we haven't taken the time to consider. And that's what the father wants us to do. He wants us. He he's trying to get us to listen to him and mm-hmm. consider. Like consider your ways. Like are you? <laughs> what are you doing here? Like you have to be able to you self-evaluate you have to be able to do that and in that place the father is pouring wisdom he's he's giving healing he's doing all of the things that we want if we desire to be righteous but we got to be willing to listen and like you say hold ourselves accountable yeah. we, we have to we do have to but i think we have learned uh, some very bad ways we've learned to be lukewarm we say that we mm-hmm. want this over here but we're not willing mm-hmm. to do the work to get this over here and that could just be the most menial thing like um you know I say I want to be healed and but I'm not willing to even listen to what Yah has put in front of me you know I am a big proponent of using what you have because you know it could be anything in life like we'll say Mm -hmm. you want this this and this to happen okay you know but without faith it's impossible possible to, to please him so okay I want these things to happen, but I'll have all these resources all around me, Yeah, yeah. but I won't even use those resources because I feel like the ones over there that I can't even reach are going to be better for me. Well, Mm -hmm, I got mm -hmm. a whole list of books that I can get for free at the library, you know, for these certain Mm -hmm. things that I'm saying I want, but because Mm -hmm. these people over here, they're doing it like this. I feel like I should be doing like this, but y'all is like, look you this is what I provided for you okay yeah and yeah, this is the yeah. way that you need to go those people over there you don't know how they got there exactly you don't, know, you don't know but what I'm telling you is this is the right way for you and you know mm-hmm. most of the time right now no no Veruca Salt again no I want this <laughs> over here you know and it's like mm, okay well you just sit on down because you're not going to go anywhere now right and that's what I was saying that all goes into um what I was saying about um, just uh, wanting to have what he has for me. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't want my family to be like anybody else's family. I want my family, me, my marriage, my family, my life. Yeah. I want it to be whatever the father desires, because yeah. that's going to be, um, that it's unique to me. And that's what he has created for me. That's what he's given me. So that's what I want. I don't want anything outside of that because that's not what he has for me. So when I say I want all he has for me, that includes not desiring to do what somebody else is doing because it looks like it's better that way. That may work for them, but Mm -hmm. I want what he has for me because that's, what's going to be, that's, what's going to work for me. That's, what's going to be fulfilling to me. That's where I'm going to see him and all that he has done for me. Like, I'll wait to see like, wow, let's see what the father has for us now. Let's see what the father has for us in this area, what he has specifically, specifically for me. Like he did all this just for me. Like, you know, how you can say, oh, you made this meal for me. Like he did all of this for me. Like he took the time to consider everything he has placed in me and he made this specifically for me. So I don't want copycat. I don't want counterfeit. I don't want all of those things. I want what he specifically has for me. That's yeah. unique for me. So yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah. That's so yeah. true because when it's for you, you don't have to continue chasing 
that which what you might have copied, you know. Right. You yeah. don't have to continue trying to mimic that. Mm-hmm. What it is mm-hmm. is the blueprint has been created for you. So all you have yes. to do is stay on that narrow way and follow what the Father has put. Trust Him and walk in it. Yeah, yes. That's it. Yes. That's it. Yes. You have to really consider that, you know. Um, so the last song we have is in in your presence. Ooh. And that song. Ooh. Um, mm. see, it says, um, oh, the, the, oh, I, I, I done wrote down part of the lyrics. Okay, I said, <laughs> I am well in your presence. I am at peace. Yeah. And so yeah. if I am feeling um, like some kind of emotion or if I'm just discombobulated, mm-hmm. that must mean that I'm not in his presence, you mm-hmm. know, because that's the opposite of being in his presence because yeah. in his presence there is peace. Yeah, so that's I'm yeah, that's why I said commands peace. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. And so we have to remember, see, I think this is the problem. We fail to put before us, okay, it's either yeah or it's Satan. And that's mm-hmm. like you know how you draw yeah. a line down the paper mm-hmm. and then you mm-hmm. have two sides, you know, mm-hmm. it's either yeah or Satan. Like literally, you could put stuff on either side. It's not a commingling. There's not a middle ground. It's either yeah or Satan. So if this feeling I'm having is causing me to be blank and it's negative, that is Satan. And so that right. I'm not in peace. I'm not experiencing, you know, yah in, in my presence right now. So mm-hmm. I need to work to get back to that place where I know, okay, I'm in his presence right now, no matter what is going on, because right. Satan, He's coming to kill, steal, and destroy. But I can't let him do that. Not today. No, I, I can't do that. I'm going to stay in his presence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. And I thought about those little cartoons we used to see where you have the one on one shoulder yeah. and the other on the other shoulder. That, that's what I was thinking about when you were saying that. But that's exactly what it is. There's no gray area when it comes to that. Mm-hmm. Like if you're if you're not walking in peace um, and you have to actually consider, you have to actually uh, be again, you have to, you have to take the time and ask yourself, okay, where am I right now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Where you at? Like, and I have to do that. Like, where are you girl? Like, where you at? Where you at? Um, right. Where you at? Mm-hmm. And be honest with myself and be honest with my feelings. And if I'm not there, is there's no, okay, I'm 90% there. No, you either all in or you're not. Mm-hmm. And if you're not, then that's when you have to, you know, get yourself to that place in his in his presence in his peace um to make sure you're all there because the enemy only needs a little bit and like you say he'll still kill and destroy and and you know so yeah you have to just consider i mean where are you and be honest with yourself and ask those questions that might be hard questions to ask but ask those questions and get and draw near to the father, draw near to him and pray for, uh, like you, like you said earlier, um, I believe help my unbelief where we deal with things where we might be dealing with bills that are on pay. We might be dealing with medical conditions. We might be dealing with a lot of different things. Mm-hmm. Just you have to get to that place where you're releasing it to the father and just praying and asking him to help you. Cause we're all, like I said, we're all struggling with something mm-hmm. and whatever it is, when we feel like we're not at peace, get into that place of prayer and just asking him to help us um, in areas that we're struggling with, because if not, the enemy will have a field day with us. And that's not what we want. We want to please the father by trusting in him, <clears throat> excuse me, but there are some things that, um, challenges us and the flesh rises up but when it does we have to cast down those wicked thoughts we have to cast down those imaginations and pray to the father and just help him to ask us give us um what we need to endure whatever it is that we're going through and trust him that he will um Mm -hmm. it's 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 challenging but the father has already provided everything that we need and we just have to walk through it with him and trust us um yeah that's absolutely true. We we have to trust in him because if we don't trust in him, th- th- again, it's a two sided paper. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Trust in him or you don't trust in him. And I'm I'm just thankful, you know, just even this time of reflection because I enjoy 
I enjoy alone time, you know, wh- wherever I may get it, you know, like I said, even mm-hmm. driving in the car sometimes or whatever. And, you know, some people don't, some people do not enjoy alone time, but you have to realize and recognize you're, you're never alone, first of all, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, because yes. the father is there ready to commune with you at all times, you know? Yes. And that's what I look forward to. It's like, ooh, what does he have for me now? You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's like an adventure. Like I don't even mm-hmm. know. How it is. It's like, <laughs> what's gonna happen now? Like I get excited if I get in the car. Like we live in a new place. Even we live in an old place. Like if I happen to discover a new place, you know, it's mm-hmm. like, oh, neighborhood, I did not see this. I never knew it was there. Look at this little mm-hmm. spot. Uh, you know, because I talk to everybody, but it's like, oh my goodness. And I get so excited. But it's the same experience, like, when I'm alone with Yah, it's like, what does he have for me? And yeah. if he, let's say I'm listening to this album, and he will point out something to me just because we've had this non-distracting alone time. And mm-hmm. it's like, oh, my goodness, I did not know that that was there. Wow. You know, mm-hmm. and again, it's like, yeah, when I was passing by this tree, the song was playing and y'all showed me this, you know, and it's like, oh. Okay. And then sometimes you got to write it down. But then sometimes it's like, no, don't write it down. It's stored in your heart. But now, you know, you know, right. And, and it, it's just, it's so much. I don't even, I, I, I don't know what I'd do without him. Like I would be just messed up, like totally yeah. messed there, There's yeah. no training wheels for me. I would be messed up, like mm-hmm. literally messed up. And I'm so thankful that he chose to grab me from wherever he grabbed. I can't even tell you where he grabbed me from, but <laughs> a mess. But I'm just so glad that he chose to grab me and place me in a, a place of understanding that he is the father and that he's the greatest and there's none greater, you know? No, there's not. And I'm, I'm just, like a giddy kid when I'm talking about the father, yeah. when I'm thinking about the father, I'm like a giddy kid. Uh-huh. And the question I would say to um, everybody who's listening is, do you want to be his? Are you glad about being his? Yes. Are you honored to be his? It is a blessing. Everybody doesn't have this. Like what the scripture says, there's no other nation that has El like we do, that has Yahuwah like we do. So are you glad to be his? Like, I get excited because I just know that he's my father. I get excited because I know that he loves me and that he desires to talk to me, that he desires for me to be near him, that he desires to care for me. Like I get excited about that. So I'm like a giddy kid. And like you say, sis, where you're just thinking about what does he have for me today? Like, what does he, what does he want to share with me today? Like, that's a blessing um, to have the father um trust you with um whatever it is he has to tell you and that he's even thinking enough of you to share it with you like everybody doesn't have that Mm -hmm. um so that's just that's a blessing um and I think that we should look at it as such um yeah and and cherish the time that we have with him Mm -hmm. um because that is also a blessing so yeah this is really interesting to me right now, by the way. Thank you. I'm glad I'm sitting here thinking, oh, I, I hope this is not rambling. And <laughs> because, I mean, these are organic conversations with our sister and brethren. And that's the way yeah. it is supposed to be. And anybody who is listening, I pray that it is a blessing unto your spirit. I mean, that's what it is. This is not about vanity. This is real conversations that we have uh, concerning our walk, you know? Yeah. And it just so happened that, you know, We are able to utilize technology in this way. I'm so thankful Mm -hmm. because you're where you are and I am where I am. You know, we don't have anywhere except for right here on the computer. Now, and to y'all be the glory, we hope that we get to meet one day. But for now, this is where we are. And we are so thankful to be able because we know that what Satan meant for evil, y'all meant for good. And that describes the Internet. (laughs) Hallelujah. (laughs) Oh uh, well, sis, we are so thankful that you're able to join us today, and we want to ask you if you have any um, words of encouragement for the people that are listening to our conversation right now. Not anything other than what I've said. That is to continue to trust in the Father through these challenging times. He has said He's never going to leave us nor forsake us, mm-hmm. uh, and just always remember what He has already done. He will continue to provide. He will continue to sustain Mm -hmm. and just let us continue to keep our faith, our hope, and our trust in him. He has 
He, he will deliver us from the hand of the enemy. Let us continue to trust him and just stay in his presence um, so we can get all that he has for us. Other than that, no, we've said, we've said, um, yeah, we've said everything that I pretty much was going to say. Oh, that is such a blessing, sis. I mean, I'm telling you, like these conversations are so fulfilling to me and from what it sounds like they're fulfilling to you. And I just pray yeah. others are able to glean the same and really seek the father for what they need because we want our hearts to be filled with him because anything else Hallelujah. is able to come in. <clears throat> and like we talked about choking the word, that is his goal. So mm-hmm. we want to be filled with God so that he is not able to do that because it resonates throughout our being, you know, whether we are in our house or we're outside the house or wherever we are, it resonates. So we want to be filled with the light of Yah so that we can present, you know, as we should, you know. So I'm just thankful. Um, Hallelujah. We are thankful for you today and we look forward to your next work. And uh, we want to remind everyone, if you want to text or call 704-879-1511, you can also email us at pqlr1radio at gmail.com. You can also comment under the YouTube. Also, reach us on any social media, pqlr1radio at gmail.com. We want to leave you with our scripture, which is Philippians 4, 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. I'm your sister Cece. This is Cece on Air, and we thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to uh, communing with you again on PQLR1 Radio, where Yah is first. Praise. Praise Yah.